what's up guys uh you know a bit of a somber mood right now you know depending on who you're rooting for but if you just are tuning in and i hope you are uh we just saw an unfortunate loss of a great another great african champion may i say my fellow americans um I'm, of course, talking about UFC 305. It just wrapped up in Perth, Australia. Uh, unfortunately, in the main event, and maybe fortunately, again, I'm just being biased right now, but we saw, uh, of course, let's just be, let's just set, set the table, Israel Adesanya versus Drikas Duplessis, um, the middleweight championship on the line. And what happened? Uh, Izzy got choked out in the fourth round. Uh, and we're, we're, we're making this video just to hop on and kind of recap the main event. We're doing, we're going to give you a full card breakdown. So watch out for that. Uh, this is the 10, seven MMA. If you didn't know, you better ask somebody. Uh, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm DS. And of course I'm here with my guy, Dino Bam, man. Dino, I'm sorry. I should have brought you in a little bit sooner, my boy. It's okay, man. It happens. You know, 305 was getting a little reckless towards the end. I know you were down in a couple adult beverages, so I feel you, man. So I just want to set the table a little bit more. You know, for everybody else, Dino, this Dino here, Dino Baby, is completely sober. He's taking a little Zeebin break. And if you don't know what that means, it just means he's taking a little alcohol break. Why? That's between him and God. Come but on. I, on the other hand, am the one who probably should be taking the alcohol break. But am I? I'm not. I'm not. So I've had about half a bottle of Makers at this point. But I'm good, though. So I'm just a little emotional. But let's get to it, man. So the main event happened, obviously. Uh, just to just to touch on it real quick, we both had Izzy winning this at the breakdown, right? Yeah. Were you how confident were you uh, on a scale of one to ten at that point? Like a seven. Yeah, I think you were a seven. I feel like you were a little bit more. I feel like if you ask me how confident you were, I would say eight. Okay. I feel like I was a little, I was probably a six and you were an eight at the time, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but so let's, let's just jump right into it. Right. We don't want to make this video too long. Uh, first round, bro. I, I text you at the moment, but I know you don't really respond during uh, anxious ass fights. You're an anxious ass guy as am I, but <laughs> yours is really amplified in big fight feels. And, and let's, let's be real. This had a big fight fucking feel. And, a big reason for that was obviously the tantrum that Izzy threw at the press conference. Drickus now is a, he's, he's just a mean guy, bro. He's a bully. You know, he made Sean Strickland cry. He made Izzy cry. What's going on, dude? Is that the kind of, if you're a Drickus fan, is that what you want to support? You're supporting a big me like that, right? He's making your favorite, our, our favorite fighters cry like that. He's hurting their feelings. That's fucked up, bro. As men, we should be supporting each other uplifting each other you feel big, me big fact but, bro. amen so first round started i text you to me the first round my notes for this are too too close to call who did you have winning the first round i had it for adesanya man you know I, I had him landing better shots he was a little more measured uh nice head kicks that drickus was throwing but izzy landed that nasty knee that was probably the most significant strike of the round and that, and that cut drickus off the bat it wasn't a big cut but it cut him yeah, it cut him. Uh, calm and collected by both guys there. But again, Izzy outlanded him, and he landed the more significant shots. So an edge to Izzy, not like a crazy, you know, not like a super big 10-9, but a 10-9 nonetheless for Israel Adesanya. Um, I can't I thought, imagine. I thought it was the closest round of the entire fight. I thought it was damn near too close to call. And and, and I, in the moment, I, I did have it. Like initially, I had it for, for Drickus. And then Izzy started landing some shots in the back half of that round. And then I was like, well, I guess I'd give it to Izzy. He had a G tripped in that round. You, you, crowd gets hyped sometimes over trips and stupid ass shit like that. But I guess if I had to pick, I would have given it to Izzy, but it was razor fucking close. But so, okay. So we both give the first round to Izzy, but we agree that it's fucking close. Second round, you had that to Drickus, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, look, Israel Adesanya was striking pretty well in that round, Dino. He hurt Drickus, and, like, he hurt him bad, and then Drickus kind of flopped for a takedown. He got the back. He almost got the choke in in that round, and then just kind of controlled Izzy up against the cage for the rest of the round. Landed some and props nice to Izzy shots. for getting out of that. You're talking about the rear naked. That shit looked yeah. like it might have been over in that moment. Yeah, and I thought it would be, but Izzy did a great job getting up. But, again, uh, kudos to Drickus. He held him up against the cage, landed some nice damaging shots couple knees to Izzy's thigh, a couple left hands 
um, you know, w- when he had him up against the cage around his back. So, yeah, I mean, it's a clear 10-9 Drickus Duplessis round. Um, but I will say Drickus started to look a little sloppy and tired towards the end of that round. That was the first thought. Uh, and with him, you never know, right? He, he's like Nicholas Dalby, where it's like, is he just, is he tired or is he just fucking, that's just how he is. And I think that might just be how he is. Or does he have immaculate heart? Because, yeah, I agree with you. Drickus, in that second round, and the first round he was, you know, trying to stay, stand on the feet and he was holding his own. Absolutely. And the second round, Drickus finally started to use, not finally, he started to use his wrestling. Um, and then, is he, ha- yeah, when when the tides turned and against the, against the cage, he Drickus started landing some decent shots. So, yeah, yeah I think, you know, and he, and he got a couple, I think got two or three takedowns in that round. I haven't looked at the stats now. We're obviously just recording this fresh off. Like, as soon as we finished watching it, we set up and we started recording. But I, I thought this was the clearest Drickus round. Do you agree? I mean, for me, it was the only Drickus round. But, yeah, I mean, it, it to me, at this point through two rounds, it's clear that's 19-19. Uh, no questions about it, in my opinion. See, I, 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 there are some questions. That first round was so fucking close to me. So, We'll, we'll disagree on that. Okay, so then, the third round, right? First of all, is he his best success, body kicks and body punches. When he was working the body, I think, in my opinion, that's when he had the best success. Yeah, you I mean, that? Throwing, yeah, throwing great body kicks, throwing some hands to the body, which was nice to see from Izzy. Um, Dino, he was doing some damage in there, man, and, and especially in that third round, he hurt Drickus Duplessis. Drickus, you know, like flopped down for that takedown again. Um, both guys. Well, the, the first half of the third round looked like the tide was completely turning. And Izzy, listen, I, I know the, the recent track record, whatever, the, the fucking Strickland fight. Let's be real. Izzy looked a lot better this fight than the Strickland fight, right? So, of course. He, look, he, he looked a lot better. We can better. write that off. If, if nothing else, we can at least write that off as a bad performance, an anomaly, a blip on the radar, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's be real. Ten. Not 10 times out of 10. It's not like Sean Strickland's fucking up Izzy out of five rounds. To me, that's one of the biggest upsets in the history of MMA. But early third round, man, Izzy, I thought was clearly winning. And then Drickus started landing. Yeah, but but look, man, you, you look at the numbers, Dino. Izzy outlanded him by a significant amount. He landed the more significant shots of the round. Drickus started really, really looking tired, labored, sloppy as hell. They, um, they both kind of did, though. Izzy yeah, Izzy started feeding for sure. That was one thing that did surprise me is that Izzy looked like he was starting to gas out in the third. And granted, he was throwing more shots, but I did feel like Drickus overall, whenever he would land, if I had to pick one guy between the two of them who had the more impactful strikes as they landed, it had to be Drickus. See, I, I man, I, I don't know. I feel like we were watching two different things, man. I, I got to completely disagree with you. I think round three was in a... a by far an Israel Adesanya round. Drickus, oh, I, I had Izzy winning the round. Yeah, I mean, Drickus looked so damn labored for me. Yes, Izzy started slowing down. And you could tell Adesanya was a lot bigger than he normally is for fights at 185. Looked toned, looked big. Uh, his, his, some of his punches were starting to get a little slow in that round, but he was, he had Drickus Duplessis, you know, doing the Drickus Duplessis thing where he gets sloppy and he starts just throwing massive overhands and stumbling around. And, man, we, we saw it a couple times in this fight, and we're going to talk about the fourth round in a second. But Drickus with those wild-ass blitzes, man, and he just steps on people's feet, dude. Um, and, and that – And I don't even think he does it on purpose. He might. He might not. You know, there's a possibility. We've seen it happen a lot, right? And it could just be from being sloppy, but it's a thing that this guy does. And it, essentially, in the fourth round, that's the beginning of the finishing sequence. So – Well, I don't, let's not move on to the fourth yeah. just yet, if you don't mind. Yep. So the third, I did also have it going to Izzy. So despite that we, me and you disagree on the 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 distance between them in the first and the third, we still overall agree. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's and, two one. And 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 in the, in the third, despite Drinkus towards he pick, he really picked it up in the latter half of the round. So it's weird to say, but he absolutely it's a fact that he did pick it up in the latter half of the round. That's what made it kind of close. I still give it to Izzy. But that's when I first really know, like in the, when he was like getting tired towards the second. I'm like, is he tired? I'm like, I think that's how he is. Yeah. At towards the end of the third, even though he was starting to swing the tide in his favor, and I still think is he won the round. This is when I was like, holy shit! I think he's really tired. 
I mean, he was tired. It, it is what it is, man. Like a lot has been made about the cardio of Drickus Duplessis. We used to say he had no cardio. Then the Strickland fight happens, and everyone's like, and "Don't forget he had the team. surgery." Right. He had the he had the nasal surgery, whatever that was. People started saying he's a cardio king. His cardio is not that good, you know. I think we learned that in this fight. If yeah, there's but anything, it's not. It's not like awful. No, it's not like miserable, but. Dude, you're getting exhausted in the third round of a championship fight. I mean, he still finds ways to get finishes, and we're about to get there right now. But look, here, here's what I'm saying. Me and you agree that it's 2-1 Izzy. I think Izzy was absolutely dog-walking Drickus Duplessis in the rounds that he was winning. But whatever. How can you say that about the first, though, man? Like it, it, He outpointed him by a good amount, man. He outpointed him by a good amount, but whatever. But listen, listen, you know, you know what bothered me? Like, you know what I felt like? And I thought, I, this is something that I really thought I noticed distinctly and i wrote in my notes is i feel like like drick is getting tired getting sloppy throwing shit is he man there were some man you can clip a master class of of defensive evasive maneuvers from izzy in the first three rounds in this fight there were some fucking effortless like yeah you know i box right like how do you slip a punch is it it's not like this right yeah. it's not like this it's like this. It's a slight movement. So, and and then like, there were some master class moments of Izzy evading shit. But then I like, then I felt like okay. Then he's like, oh okay. Drick is start, he starts landing some shots, and then he's like, and then like counter to he's keeping his fucking chin in the air. Where he's yeah. like, oh this guy's tired. He's done. And then he's landing. He's throwing. He lands a couple shots. Lands a good combo. And then he catches. He gets caught. And it's like. Is, is that his fucking shit? Like, he, people think he's tired, and that, like, works to his game plan, I feel like. Man, look, Dino, it is what it is, and we're not there at the end yet, but I, I you know, I'll say it. Drick is duplicy. There's one of a couple things that's either going on with this guy. I, it's like, is he the best fighter at 185? I really don't think so, man. And I'm not trying to be a DDP Who do you hater. think is? Look, I'm not trying to be a DDP Who hater. Is? Who's the best fighter at 185? It's Israel Adesanya, man. It's Israel Adesanya. And I think today further solidified. I, I do that. agree with you, which is weird to say because you know, I'm, like, you look. Can we agree on this? You're more emotional when it comes to MMA in general, like fighters. Sure, can we agree on that? absolutely. But I'm, I don't, I'm not being emotional at all right now. I'm being very like I, I'm just. But I'm just okay, maybe emotional. Is wrong. You're, you're more, you're, you're more strong-headed in terms of like this type of stuff. Whereas, like, usually, even when I like, how about this? You know what I thought about when I saw this happen? And obviously, if you haven't figured it out yet, Izzy ended up losing he got by sub in the fourth round, as it says at the very bottom of the screen. But weirdly enough, bro, even though we were there for the Bobby Knuckles fight in person, and you know how much I love Bobby Knuckles, and if I had to rank him, Bobby Knuckles higher, way higher on my list of my favorite fighters than Izzy. Yeah. But for some reason, this affected me more. I don't know. Like, you, yeah, you man, know what I'm was, saying? It's just tough, man. It's a title fight, right? It's There was a lot of bad blood going into it. I know they kind of squashed the beef at the end. Um, but yeah, it, it's a huge fight. Israel Adesanya, whether you want to admit it or not, if you're an Izzy hater or an Izzy lover, the dude is an absolute legend, man. He's a future Hall of Famer. Not that Bobby Knuckles is not, but the things that Israel Adesanya has done uh, in this promotion with the belt, holding it for so long, defending it for so long, having 12 straight title fights or whatever it is, man. You never know what these legends, you know, like, it, you know, they have that run, right? And then it can go away at any moment. So it's sad to see a guy like Izzy where we know his next fight is not for a belt, right? So it, it is what it is, man. Um, you know what it what is, bro? It's, it's, the, it's the modern landscape of social media and everybody's got a voice. And and then you add that into the fact that MMA inherently, apparent, apparently, is just such a toxic community. I feel like that, like, it's unfortunate. Like, Kamaru, Izzy... You know, like you know what I mean, like uh, Volk less t to a lesser extent, but like these guys, especially Kamara, and especially and more than anybody, Izzy, like we're gonna miss them when they're gone. You know what I mean? And yeah. and the the modern day fan base, I don't think they understand. Like they don't know what they have, right? So yeah. I guess that's part of the reason why it's even more upsetting. You know what I mean? So let, let's just were, were you saying something? I'm sorry, did I cut you off? Yeah, I just wanted to get to really quickly. You know, this fourth round, the finish, and then. I wanted to just That's touch what I was about to get into. Yeah, go and for then it. I wanted to touch a little on DDP, but really quickly, I mean, the fourth round, uh, you know, really quick breakdown for it. Izzy kind of touching DDP up, uh, DDP starting to really push the pace. He looks exhausted. 
and he looks like he knows he needs to do some shit now. So he's really starting to get those blitzes going. Things Izzy are getting... was really working the body, and again, that's where he had yeah. the most success. But in that fourth round, he was he was that was it looked like it was on pace to be the most clear Izzy round of all of them to that point, and it looked like the momentum was really swinging in his way. And and I think it was, and it looked like a finish might be coming there or shortly after. But uh, DDP, you know, with one of those blitzes, and I said it, the way he sets his feet, he's so awkward, man. I don't, I, like, I, I'm imagining it right now. I don't know if he's, like, bow-legged, and I don't mean that as, like, a, you know, as, like, a diss towards him. But he's got, like, weird foot placement. He steps really wide. Nothing is technical. It's very unorthodox. But when he blitzes in, and especially against Izzy, and we've seen it in other fights. And he was doing a lot more stance switches that we, we don't usually typically see out of him. Right, and that was to, you know, counteract Izzy's kickboxing, obviously, right? But anyways, that blitz, you know, Stepped on Izzy's foot, and Izzy stumbled again. It was the second time it had happened in the fight. It looked like uh, there was a third time where Izzy didn't fall that it had happened. But he fell down, and then, uh, you know, as he was getting up kind of sloppily, uh, Drickus landed that nice shot that kind of led to the ending sequence where eventually... No, not kind of. It did. It led to, yeah, it led to the finishing sequence. He got his back, took him down, got an RNC locked in. Izzy kind of fought the hands. He switched to the gable grip and ended it right there, and Izzy tapped out. But here's what I want to say, Dino, and you know you'll get your chance here to uh, to kind of wrap up. But with with Drickus Duplessis, I wanted to say this: he's not the best fighter at 185. I really don't think he is, and I'm not trying to be a hater. Who the do guy you, who is, do you think beats him in the weight class? Hear me out. So I don't think he's the best fighter at 185. I don't think he's the best striker at 185. I don't think he's the best grappler at 185. But the guy finds but a fucking way. But he's top five in all in, in all those. Sure, but the guy finds a way to win fights, man. And sometimes that's more important than being the best guy. I don't know if it's the luck aspect of Drickus Duplessis. I don't know if it's the, uh, you know, South African juju that they got going on. Whatever it is, Drickus Duplessis finds a way to win these fights. Um, but man, to me, Dino, this fight, personally, it just proved what I know and what I've seen to be even more true than ever. He's really not as good as the best guys in the world, but the guy has heart and he just fights fucking through it. Just is what it is, man. The, the dude is tough. He's tough as shit. And if, if anything, he's got that going for him. You can't take that away from him, right? Yeah. I mean, facts are facts. That's a strong statement you're making, what, what you just said. To me, it's like, sure, in theory, what you said may be true, but we have to give him his respect. We have to give him his credit, man. Like yeah, I'm, I'm saying it. He's finding ways to win. That's, he that's took on two thing. very different fighters, right? And and the, the Strickland fight, I thought Strickland won it very fucking close. This Izzy was on the way to win it, but he didn't, right? So at the end of the day, what the fuck is there to say, man? You know, um, Izzy was working the body in that fourth round. Looked like it was on pace to be 3-1 Izzy, in my opinion. We might disagree on how how – drastic the difference in the in those tens and nines were yeah. but we both agree that it was basically about to be three one izzy so yeah i don't know to watch him you know get subbed and tap unfortunate but um man great fucking fight overall i mean i was watching by myself i don't know who you're watching with i was fucking shook dude my blood pressure was through the roof just watching that um before we before we hop off and do the full card breakdown look out for that at the tens of an ma all that shit um What's next for Izzy? What's next for Drickus? Quickly. Too, uh, too early to tell for Izzy, man. We're probably a massive fight. If, a big let's, say you're, let's say you're fucking Joe Silva. It's not Joe Silva anymore. Whoever the fuck it is now. Uh, who you? What matchups are you making? I don't hate Yuri Prohashka going down and fighting Izzy in sort of a title eliminator for Yuri. Maybe not so much for Izzy. I don't hate that. Let's and say for, that's not an option. Let's say there's no weight class moving. I mean, shit, then th th there's really nobody at 85. What is he going to do? Is he going to fight Vittori, a guy that he's beat multiple times? Is he going to fight, you, you know, do, is he Strickland? I, I don't see a reason to do that. Sean Strickland is next in my book. It's not yeah, the winner. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just being devil's advocate. I do agree yeah. with you. Yeah. So is that what you think is next for? Yeah, it's, it's got to be Sean Strickland. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I agree. That, that's the fight to make. I agree. Yeah, and that, that's right. just what it is. But look, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, do us a favor. Hit the like and subscribe button. Do you know I, I haven't had that thing up the whole time. There it is, guys. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. That you would really help us out. What is that? You did have it up. There. Okay, that's fine. It is what it is. But that's hey, what you did. Hey, one more thing. If you guys watched the full card breakdown, the prediction video, 
if you agreed with what I said, or if you disagree, and I'm saying in this whole video, if you agreed with what I said, I broke this fight down perfectly. Dino, my prediction was exactly how it went down, except for in the fourth round, I had Izzy landing the TKO and not Drickus getting yeah. the sub, but it was spot the fuck on. No, anyway. it was, it was, and that was an unreal breakdown on your part. I just want to say something real quick. As long as you're not a piece of shit about it, please disagree with us. I love I love discourse, right? Let's talk about it. You think you think we're wrong? What you saw the fight differently? Let's talk about it. Leave a comment down below. Let's let's fucking chat about it. But if you're gonna be a dick about it, Dino Bamman's gonna come treat your ass. <laughs> yeah, if you ever I'll... get fucking roasted and if you're being a piece of shit on our shit, just know it's him. So it's most likely me. I'd say like 97%. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.